Oh, Jesus Christ. Why can't you leave me alone? Dude, listen. Listen carefully. I'm giving you a chance, man. Walk away. Just walk away. Walk away from this mind-numbing corporate establishment. Don't be part of the conspiracy, man. Conspiracy? Please. Here's your copy of Catcher in the Rye. Now go away. It's true. Did you know that Star Schmucks has the highest concentration of caffeine per beverage out of, like, everything? Just because there's a lot of caffeine in our beverages, that does not mean there's a conspiracy. Oh, it does. See, caffeine is addictive, and your company is peddling highly caffeinated beverages, which, in turn, gets the consumers addicted. Then, when the consumer craves caffeine, they will go get a cup of coffee, but then realize that an ordinary cup of coffee no longer supplies the caffeinated high they need, so now they have no choice but to return to this den of coffee bean hell. For Christ's sakes, you know, they, they don't pay me enough for this shit. Not only do you peddle highly addictive caffeinated beverages, you're putting small coffee houses out of business. You move into town, you get people addicted to your coffee, and then the consumers stop going to the local shop, buy your coffee, and run the mom and pop stores out of business. You know, you know, no one gives a shit about your mom and pop stores anymore, okay? People just want their quick fix at a reasonable price. Mom and pop shops are dead, sir. Move along. Say, this is the attitude I'm talking about. Once everything becomes corporate and uniform, there will be no variation to the norm. Once Star Schmucks takes over all mom and pop stores, where will people get a cup of coffee that tastes different? Where, I ask you? Well, we sell coffee beans, so you can make our delicious coffee at home. Th that's not different. But it's profitable. You're one of them, aren't you? Um, here, have a cup on the house. Screw you! I know how that whole free sample thing works. Bastards. Um, the squirrel is onto us, bitch.